Hello, buddy. Welcome back to the Tin Man's Quarter Channel. I'm your host, Jeffrey Tin Man Taylor, and today I'm over by my mask shelf because I wanted to review another mask for you guys. And it's the uh, Sinister Ghost mask for Spirit Halloween. But this is the black version. The only reason I picked this up is because it's a uh, decently priced mask. It's actually $9.99. That ain't bad for a Halloween mask. And plus, I've seen a lot of people buy these and they like to repaint them, which I'm not going to do with this one. Uh, and also, I got it because I got the red version already, which I'm going to pull that off the wall and show you. And I might also leave the link for that review as well down in the description below. So after you get done watching this one, you can go watch the review of the other one if you like. But anyway, um, I said it was either going to be the black one or the silver one. I'm, I might get the silver one later. But uh, I figured, yeah, let's go with the black. Uh, actually polished up real nice looking food on it. <laughs> and I took the tag off because I was planning on wearing it and then just hanging on the wall like the other one. Yeah, I just love the design, the simple smile on it. Looks creepy enough as it is. Imagine you see somebody wearing this down a dark alley. That, that would be creepy. I must have picked up a copy that had more like scratches right up in here. But that's probably easy to sand down, but other than that, on the forehead and everything is smooth. They they did have some copies that were like either sticky or rocked up right here, like they accidentally dropped it on the floor. But uh, yeah, I can say my copy's pristine. And plus, they're easily uh, cheap enough to uh, get. So if I decide to repaint this one or it gets damaged, I could go get another one. <laughs> Without further ado... I'm going to take this mask off and put this one on and give you my thoughts on it. <laughs> oh, Lord, I am the sin's ghost. You better be good before I pull a prank on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, folks. I had to come up with something. <laughs> snappy to go along with this mask but uh, to be honest with you this uh, knit mesh that's in the eyes and mouth actually it almost smells like velcro <laughs> but uh, it actually fits comfortable on my face it's got a sponge my, my other one uh, hold on let me grab, grab, grab the other one real quick hold on see what I mean yeah my other one's got a sponge in it too oh that's a big difference they changed the foam on this stuff, folks, because my old red one right here has got a big uh, T sponge in it, if, if you can see that. While the new ones has got a smaller sponge. Here, hold, hold on. Let me try on this one to see if there's any difference. Probably ain't. No, it fits about the same. <laughs> it just feels different with the different sponge. Oh, I'm definitely digging this new one. It actually feels comfortable on the face, so um, I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10, for sure. So, fellas, would you big head fellas out there like me? This will probably fit you, but also got to worry about, like, the bulging cheeks. But other than that, it feels great on my face, so I don't feel bad wearing it. Now, I could say something about the sponge, because the sponge sits smaller in here than this one. Uh... It feels like it just wants to, like, press down more on your forehead like it's riding than this one. This one just, like, fits your whole cranium, <laughs> which I don't mind either way. It still works for me. And, you know, to be honest with you folks, I was thinking about grabbing the silver one and, you know, like, that would be the new face of my channel than this. But, hey, I might go with something else later down the line. So stay tuned for that announcement. But, anyway... Uh, I'm going to take this one off and give you my final thoughts overall on this. Okay. Um, fit 10 out of 10. And I'm glad I got another one for the collection. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the same sculpt, so they didn't change nothing there. It's just a different sponge. That's the only problem I got with it. But, but it still fits great. Let's put it that way. But yeah. 
you could be stealthy with this mask on in the dark because it's black. Nobody won't be able to see you unless you get spotted with a flashlight. If you try to prank somebody, that is. But other than that, it's a, it's a cool mask, something cheap for you to put your own Halloween costume together. I would highly recommend this. Uh, and uh, I think that's going to be it for now, everybody. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed my little mask review on this mask. Uh, this is going to be another successful installment of the Tin Mask Corn channel. And I'm going to, like I said earlier, I'm going to leave the link to this mask. So when you get towards the end of this video, go check the video review on this one out, okay? As always, this has been another successful installment of the Tin Man's Corner channel. I'm your host, Jeffrey Tin Man Taylor. I say that's a wrap, and have a nice day, buddy. <clears throat>